die, sheep. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, hey guys, and welcome to a great new tutorial. This is Cameron Penner, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your guys jump a little bit better. Some people were asking about double jumps and also holding down jump to make your character jump higher and that is exactly what I'm going to be showing you today. So first to get started we're going to use the platformer game that uh, that I've made in a previous tutorial and we're just going to start working off of that. Now we're going to change up to the key press up and we're going to put when here when it checks for the collision if there's something below it we're going to set a variable jump to 1 and we're also going to copy that and in the creation event we're going to initialize a variable and set jump to 0 so now when you press up if there is something below you it sets jump to 1 also, when there's a collision with the wall, we're going to set jump to zero. So now, while you're in the air, you jump should be one all the time. Um, except for if you fell off of something, in which case jump will still be zero. Now, just after you jump, jump is now one. We're going to do another check in the press up event. We're going to check if variable jump is equal to 1 then we're going to take this and we're going to copy it all and we're going to paste it in here now we're going to take this speed and we're going to turn it down just a little bit so that the second jump isn't quite as high as the first jump and we're also going to set jump to 0 now this should successfully be double jumps I think it was really quick <laughs> still got that crazy what's going on all right so let's try it out run around you know you can jump and stuff and now wabamo double jumps working good um, if you fall off of something you can't double jump you can't double jump more than once perfect one other thing people were asking how do I hold down up to make my character jump higher but if I let go of it sooner, then, you know, he doesn't jump as high, like the jumping in Mario. Well, I'm going to do a key release up, and I'm going to check if the variable V speed is smaller than zero. That means it's negative. It's going up. If V speed is negative, we're going to set V speed to V speed divided by 2. This will give you a lot more control over your character's jumping. So we're going to go like this. Now we can jump high or we can let go of it sooner to make my character not jump as high. Really cool little thing to add. Still got double jumps working and double jumps also do the same thing for um, letting go early and stuff. So yeah, um, that comes to the end of my tutorial. I hope you guys learned something and uh, I'll see you next time.